Hi everyone, today we are at Talat Noi to explore some linguistic landscape here. Okay, if you're ready, let's go! Linguistic landscape studies are the investigation of displayed language in a particular space, generally through the analysis of advertisements and other signs in public spaces. Talatno is one of the original Chinese settlements in the Ratanakasin period. To this day, the large Chinese community in Talatno has retained much of their traditional culture, beliefs, language, and food from the past. So the Latinoi has now become a cultural attraction and it is popular among teenagers, hipsters and foreigners who want to experience Chinese community. This sign is considered a top-down sign because it is organized by a government organization. From the photo, this is a monolingual sign using the Thai language with Thai characters. The placement of the text is solely focused on Thai. The purpose of this sign is to ask for all people's cooperation in wearing a mask and social distancing when visiting the Latinoi. Only red and white are used in this sign, and the red color is purposely used to emphasize the message of the sign. This photo is considered as a bottom-up sign because it is a commercial sign. It is a bilingual sign with Thai and English language using Thai and English characters. The placement of the text is focused on Thai at the seat in the center, as they do Thai massage. These signs come with Thai massage logos, and the decorations are in gold colors with Thai painting. This photo is considered a top-down multilingual sign. There are three languages on the sign, Thai, Chinese, and English. The Thai language is the biggest letter on the sign because it's the main language of this country, followed by the Chinese language, which shows the identity of the Latinoi that there are Thai Chinese people living here. And the last language is English, as the Latinoi is one of the attractive places in Bangkok, and there are visitors from all over the world, so there should be an international language for foreigners to understand the signs. Icon Siam is a luxurious department store that opened in 2018. It is Thailand's iconic national landmark, located on 55 right on the riverside of the Jabuya River. It is a sensational mega development that has redefined the area's property development by combining the best of the world with the best of what Thailand has to offer. Icon Siam has excited visitors with a rich diversity of offerings, including art and culture, extraordinary dining and shopping as well as unprecedented iconic flagship stores and the largest number of the world's most premium luxury brands. And now we are at Icon Siam. Let's see what we can find here. This photo is considered a bottom-up type, as this is a commercial sign. This is a monolingual sign in the Dutch language, with the English script which means from the heart. The decoration is blue light. The sign is the sign of this cafe. The language on this sign is not related to the identity of the product, but to convey that every cup of coffee in this shop is made from the heart. This photo is a commercial sign. It is considered a bottom-up type. The language on the side is bilingual and also display a clear separation of language. The first and second line contain English script. The third line contains Japanese script. One can claim that in the sign, English is the prominent language, both by virtue of its placement above the Japanese and by the size of its script, as they serve Japanese food, identity and ethnicity. The decorations are unique to Japan, such as Japanese lanterns. This photo is considered a bottom-up type, as it is a sign from a private institution. This is a multilingual sign in English, Thai, and Chinese language, with the English script written prominently. The decoration is black and gold, signifying luxury. This sign is a sign that to warn you not to leave your belonging in the restroom. The language on this sign is prominently in English, implying that the main message of this sign is not for Thai but for foreigners. 